Can I ask you something about Christianity? In, in, you can ask me, but first you have to leave Islam. Leave Islam and ask me as much as you want. I'm here to no, be Muhammad. I will ask, then I am convinced enough, then I will leave Islam. You ask me what? I'm being honest over here. All right, go if ahead. If I ask, ask you a question. question. All right. Go. Okay, so the famous question, how can God die? Well, first of all, we as a Christian, we don't believe that God died. We believe that they killed the Messiah in flesh, but he was alive in spirit. For our God is a spirit and he's always alive. So when you say, how can God die? You should ask yourself, how God cannot die? Because simply, if you believe that Jesus, he will be God because he did not die, well, that you should believe in him right now is God as a Muslim. Because according to Islam, Jesus never died. I'm using your logic. God never died. Okay. Jesus in Islam never died. His, his God must be. Muhammad died. All messengers died. All prophets died. All human beings died. Abraham died. Adam died. Muhammad died. Jesus never died according to Islam. So you know he will surely die in the future. Huh? But he will surely die in the future. Okay. When the day can you of the show me? Can comes. you show me from the Quran where it says he will die in the future? It doesn't say that. But you said you are Quran only. Yeah, it does say actually. Wait. It says in the future. But there is a verse. I don't remember, but there is. It says in the future. The day where we raised you from the dead and all that, you it's, know. It says in the future. No, it says that Allah will cause him to die and take him up to heaven. So in order to... That one. Yeah, so in order to happen, it have to happen before he go up to heaven. It's in front of your eyes. You see the Muslim line. Look at this translation. It says... I remember when Allah said, O oh Isa, I will take you and rise you to myself. That's not what it says. In Arabic, it says, Inni mutawafika. I'm going to cause your death. And then I will take you to me. So the death have to happen before he go up to heaven. Before, not after. Mutawafika. Yeah, right. mm -hmm. So your Quran is a stupid book. So according to the Quran, Jesus, really, he died before he go to heaven. This is the Quran saying that. Allah will not take him before he causes his death. And who will cause his death? Allah. And look at the first translation. I am gathering thee. Why Jesus was pieces? What gathering thee? Is Jesus one person or ten per people? You see the first translation? In Arabic here it says, Mutawafika, Tawafa, Mutawafi, it means died, died. Muslims, they lie. Always they lie. You're deceased. You see it? Yes. So, the Quran says that Jesus, before he go to heaven, he must die first. So the Christians are right. And the Muslims are lying against even their book. Remember, you said to me, if I answer you, you will leave Islam. I answered you. Would you keep your promise or you were lying to me? But let's be honest, if you didn't answer it clearly enough, you know, I no, asked I answer you, it. how I can answer God it. die? God, God, he's overcome the, death because Jesus, no, no, was, you see, you see Jesus, Jesus, Jesus said, earth. no, I answered you. God is always alive. They killed the flesh. Jesus has existed before the flesh. Jesus said before Abraham, I am. So was, the birth, so he's Jesus born, so he's born with the flesh, born with the flesh from Mary. 
that is a flesh but God as the Messiah is always alive so they bury the flesh in the tomb for three days three nights resurrection is you reuniting with your flesh that what Jesus did so God he overcome death you should ask yourself well if Jesus is not God how he can raise himself from death if Jesus is not God, how come the Quran says that he can raise people from death? Is it true that the Quran says Jesus, he raised by people the from death? Power of no. You see, when you say to me by the power of Allah, you need to prove it. I can say me, myself, I can say I'm the one who gave the power to Jesus. Hey guys, you know when Jesus, he made the blind see? It's ultimate for to give him the power. Yeah, ultimate for. Yeah, Jesus cannot do it. Ultimate for from, from synagogue. He said, Jesus, I will let you do it. But the talk is cheap. According to your religion, your God Allah, in order to raise a person from death, we have to beat him by cows, beef. Is that true? What? Huh? What? According to Islam, if Allah want to raise somebody from death, he have to beat him by beef. Is that true? Beat him by beef? By beef, yeah. You Muslims are Hindus. The power of the cow. Is that true? No. What do you mean no? What if I show you that you will leave Islam? So your question is if someone raises someone from the dead, I just he must ask, be beat by the beef. Yes, you beat him by beef, he come back alive. It's in the Quran? No, this is what my, you know, I, this is a story in the Bible. There's a guy, he died, and they beat him by beef, and then he come back, and he told the police who killed him. What do you think oh, about this okay. story in the Bible? Is it a stupid story? Why are you bringing Bible? I'm, 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 I'm sharing with you the truth. So do you like this story? True story? Or this is a stupid story for you? This is stupid. That's stupid. But this is the Quran. Not in the Bible. You just said it's in the Bible. Yeah, the now Bible of Muhammad. Here we go. Quran. Because you see, because Muslims are uh, this are not honest. So if I say to you in the Quran, you will not say it's stupid. I say to you, it's in the Bible. Oh, it's stupid. <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Here we go. This is in the Quran, not in the Bible. Now, can you take it back? No. Everybody heard you saying this is stupid. Ah, uh, so you are trapping me. Ah, chapter of the cow. Look, even the story in the chapter. That's why they call the cow chapter, cow chapter, because this is the power of the cow. Allah cannot resurrect people from death. Read carefully. We instructed strike the dead body with the piece of the cow, specifically the penis. The power of the penis of the cow. This is how God he raised people from death in Islam. And here it says, Thus, this is how Allah he raised people from death. Hello. Hello, hello. Remember, you said to me, this is stupid. You are out of Islam already. Okay, I didn't know about this. But you are out of Islam already. Everybody heard you saying, this is stupid. Guys, did he say this is stupid? You just called Allah stupid. You called Allah. Police be upon him. Stupid. You are out of Islam. You're in graduation. You are out of Islam, my friend. Happy for you. Do you want some baklava? Hello. Why you decide to leave Islam? Why you called Allah stupid? Be honest with me. 
I didn't. When Christians call their God Allah in Arabia, I, this this is because they occupy them. I don't call him Allah. I call him fart. Your God, he's a farting God. Look at this God who cannot even raise people from death except by fiction and stories. I mean, what is the heck is this? So now we beat the guy with the beef. Can't Allah says, okay, rise and that's it. I need to use material. I didn't know about this was. Yeah, but you said already it's stupid. I agree with you. Allah is stupid. In fact, it is stupid, but but I will have to go through it and get back at you. Uh, you mean you have to go through the stupidity of Allah? Go through the whole chapter. No, no, you call it stupid already. So you have to go through the stupidity of Allah. Are you a shrink now? You want to study why Allah is so stupid? Did Jesus beat the dead man and he resurrected him to come back from life to life? He went oh, to the butcher. Not. He went to the butcher in India. He asked him to give him some beef. And they told him, I'm Hindu. I cannot sell you beef. What is this? True story, right? Ultimate part, he said, Allah, he do things through the angels. Correct? I say it. Yeah, I, yeah, I agree. It is stupid. I know. So are you out of Islam? I'm on the edge. You're what? I am on the edge of leaving. Okay, jump. Jump? Yeah. I mean, what What are you waiting for? Some beef? So who will save me if I jump, you know? Jesus will save you. He is the one who can raise people from death. He is the one He's who can. He's just a prophet, bro. He's just a prophet. How no, can the one who God? can raise people from death, he cannot be a prophet. Mm -hmm. Only God can raise people from death. Only God can give life. I can kill, but I cannot give life. I cannot. I can kill. I cannot resurrect myself. Can Musa? This is Musa. This is story about Musa. Can Musa resurrect people from death? No. He cannot. Why Jesus only? Can Muhammad? No. Muhammad is a children. They die. One of, according to Muslim, he have babies. I believe he have no babies. But anyway, they claim that he have babies and they die. Could he res resurrect them? No. Himself was sick. He cannot even walk. The real, the real name of your prophet is Mr. Fainty. He, he faint every two seconds. Mr. Fainty. Yeah. The prophet... He is what sick. if I leave Islam and go to hell, man? We well, are going to hell anyway. You are following. Oh. The, you are following the fainty prophet. Aren't you proud? You know why you don't type? Why you don't type? Uh, like make a print in the top of your house, and say I follow the prophet who faint randomly. Okay, tell me something about Jesus. You know. Enough showed me enough hadiths and enough Quranic references. Tell you something uh, about Jesus. Well, Jesus is the only one who can forgive your sin. Jesus is the only one who can heal you. He can make the blind see physically and spiritually. Jesus is the only one. He is the one. Can you can. show me the biblical biblical references? Are you saying to me you never saw the, the miracles of Jesus? You never heard Jesus doing miracles? Yes, I have heard, but I have heard that it is by the will of Allah. Yeah, forget about Allah. As you see, Allah cannot even help Muhammad, the fainty prophet. So Jesus, the word Yeshua, the word Yeshua, which means God save. God save. This is his name. He's a savior. That's why we call him savior. Who can save a human being? Can man Save a man if both of them they are drowning Only in Allah. sin. Only God, not Allah. Allah, Only, Allah is not God. Only God. That is the Messiah. This is his name. 
His name is Yahweh, Yahweh save. So Yeshua save. He's the one who save us. Why? Because he's God. <clears throat> For anyone, no one. No prophet can save anyone. Prophet, they come to prepare for the Savior, not the opposite. So the Messiah is the one who he can save. This is why he said, I am the way. I am the truth. I am the resurrection. No one can go to the Father but by me. So we have tons of verses. And as you see, I'm showing you a screen where Jesus says it clearly, I am the living God. Does Jesus say that I am the living God? Absolutely. When Jesus Wait. said, yeah, it's in front of you. Here we go. This is John 8. Each time the Bible says, Jesus says, I am, he is saying, I am the living God. Yeshua spoke again with them and he said, I am the living God, the light of the world. Who is the light of the world? Allah. No, Jesus. Yeah, it says Yeshua spoke, yeah, right. Uh, and which book is this? This is John, chapter 8. I am the light of the world. In John so for not corrupted or something John, like my friend, who in the world want to believe those garbage stories about corruption? Why the Christians even would allow anyone to corrupt their book? Who in the yeah, world right. want to believe in such a garbage? Do you do you think we have no honor? Do you think we are stupid? Do you think we are donkeys? Mm -hmm. Why why I want to sit here speaking for many hours? To defend a book I corrupted. Who is the stupid here? The disciple of Jesus, they died defending the book. They were defending a lie? Yeah, I've heard about it. All right. So Jesus said, do you see my screen? Yes, I do. Toma, he said to him, our Lord, we do not know where you're going. How we can we know the way. So this is this, but he thought it's about direction. It's about the physical place, like where we were going. Yeshua said to him, I am the living God, the way and the truth and the life. If there's anything else, Jesus should claim to be God. He is the way. I am the living God. I am the way, which means a way of salvation for all of you mankind. I am the truth. One of the names of Allah and the and Muslim, they copy from Jesus. So, al Al -haq. Jesus says, yeah, I, am Al -haq. I saw what it is saying, but so why all the Muslims believe that uh, Jesus never claimed to be God? Because they are liars. If it is right in front of them and it exactly, is in the book, they are a bunch I of mean, liars. They I are a bunch it. of liars. They are a bunch of liars. All what Jesus says, this is why they, 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 the Jews they decide to kill him because he claimed to be God, he forgives sin. The Jews, they say to themselves, who is the one who is committing such a great sin, forgiving sin? Who is he? What do you think you are? Jesus said, which one is easier to say to him, you're gone, your sin is forgiven, or to carry your bed and walk? He commanded the man to carry his bed and walk. But when Muslims ask you that, show me where Jesus claimed to be the God, so why didn't you show them this verse? I don't I'm show, the, the, Bible, the Bible says, don't throw your jewels under the feet of the pigs. So if a Muslim come in to laugh at the Bible, you yourself, you just said, why then the Muslim says, Jesus never said, I'm God. And you said, while it is in the front of them. So obviously they are trying to make a mockery because they are satanic. If they are truthful, they should open the Bible. It will find it in two seconds. Jesus saying clearly is God. Hmm. It's, yeah, it's, I don't know I, what to say. See, this is why I'm saying to you, I will tell you about Jesus when you leave Islam, because you, you Muslims, you act like pigs. I'm not insulting, but this is the truth. You make mockery of Jesus. All religion is based on mockery of Jesus. Islam is have nothing, no target, except to be the Antichrist. 
Islam religion of Antichrist is only about making mockery of Jesus. So first I need to check and see if you are out of Islam and then we can go and talk about Jesus. What I'm trying to make is what I'm trying to do with you. You leave Islam, then I will tell you about Jesus. Did you decide to leave Islam? Yeah, I, I think so. All right. I'm happy for you, my friend. Thank God that you decide to be smart and to save yourself from the Edith Muhammad and his garbage. Well, now, as long as you decide to leave Islam, you see the verse in the Bible which about don't throw your you, jewels. You know what I'm committing, right? You know what I'm committing by saying that I leave Islam. What are you committing? Hello? Apostasy. Yeah, you are apostate now. Good for you. According to Muhammad, all How of us are apostate. Good? According to Muhammad, everyone is born as a Muslim. In fact, it's true. My mom, she said to me when I was a little kid, an infant, I used to do poo-poo under my knees. Can you believe it? I was a Muslim. This is what Prophet Muhammad, you are born as a Muslim. This is why you eat your poo-poo, you grab dirt, you put it in your mouth. You know, you're Muslim, you know. You eat poo-poo, you drink piss camel, you know, anything. And then you get smarter, you grow, you learn, and you are not eating poo-poo no more. You are out of Islam, thank God. So now you became an apostate. You know, one verse I read in the Bible, but let me pull up. Uh -huh. It's bugging me a lot since. The verse is bothering you a lot? Yeah, like, who is the liar? Something like that. Yeah, the, the one who the, the liar is the one who denied the, the the son and the father. Right? One John one John two twenty two uh -huh. is Yeah, like if, if this is not corrupted then I don't think Allah is God. Allah is not God anyway. And Islam is 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 a is a satanic cult. All the whole purpose of Islam is to be satanic, violent, bloodshed, destroying the earth. It's not only to fight Christianity. The purpose is to fight Christianity is to destroy the earth. This garbage cult, wherever it goes, peace run away. India, no peace. Pakistan, no peace. Israel, no peace. Somalia, no peace. Iraq, no peace. Syria, no peace. Wherever the Muslim goes, even in Europe, no peace. Wherever the satanic people of Muhammad goes, peace run away. So what do you think about accepting the Messiah, my friend? You, you, you decide to leave Islam and you agree with me, Islam is a foolish, stupid cult. Why you don't accept the Messiah? But when, when, but in Islam also we accept Messiah. No, you don't. The whole purpose of saying we the do. name Messiah, my friend, Muhammad is a scammer, Shaitan. He is, he is saying, I believe in the Messiah so he can deceive you. But in fact, you deny the Messiah. You deny everything the Messiah did. According to Islam, the Messiah accomplished nothing. His book is gone, his work is gone, his people are misled. So why he did nothing? Failure. You believe in what? <laughs> all, all Islam is made for the sake of Muhammad. The purpose of Islam is Muhammad. Even Allah himself, he pray on Muhammad. Muhammad, he said to them, the best of the days of the week is a Friday. So every Friday, send your prayer to, uh, to, to me. Allah will send it to me. They said to him, but, but you will be dead. He said, no. 
my grandfather was a christian you know a devout christian and how he convert to islam they give him a cow what he married you know he met because a woman christianity seemed like a pray, pagan religion there's nothing islam is the pagan religion who is the one who kisses stones who is the one who bore around the stone who is the one who believe a stone is holy you and the stone is nothing but, a, but Catholic. A, and the stone is a Hindu vagina. What the Catholic? The Catholic don't worship stones. They don't. They don't. They have a statues, but this they have a, idols and statues. Yeah, but this is okay. Hold on. Listen, listen. First churches. of all, no, still they don't worship it. Me myself, I'm against it because the Bible. I know. I've known the Bible. Know the they Bible, my friend, my friend. something, but first shit. of all, first of all, we don't follow what the priest he say. We follow what Jesus said. So the Bible is so clear. The Bible says, don't make images for what is up in heaven or down in earth. That is the command of God. Catholic, when they do that, I have to say they are not following the command of God. They justify it. They say there is a verse speaking about David, Solomon. They build a temple. They have a, a statues in the temple, etc. Cherubim, etc. But all of this is still, the Bible says, don't make. Don't make. If he did, God did not say. So, for us, it's not what people do. Is a Christianity is what the Christ say. Plus, no Catholic worship an image. If you worship an image, he is no Christian. Anyone who will leave the image as God is no Christian. But then you it's an image, then you it's a statues. However, by the way, the the Muslim, they have a statues. Don't you know that? What Muslims have statues? Yeah, even Allah, He commanded Suleiman to have mosque with his statues. Don't you know that? So when you say the Catholic, the Catholic don't worship statues. They make statues. I believe it's wrong, but still they are Christians. They are. Because, you know, everybody do wrong. I do wrong too. But if you go in the Quran, you will find that having a statues was a command by Allah. So if having a statues make you a pagan, well, here we go. This is a chapter 34, verse number 13. They made the statues... To Suleiman. Do you see the word here in Arabic? Tamathil. Do you see the word statues in English? No. It's not there. You change the translator. This is translation of who? This is Yusuf Ali. You change the translator, you will see the word statues appear. This is Hilary and Khan. There's no statues. Okay, no statues here. Let us see. Uh, Big Tab. Do you see the word statues? Yes. Okay. So having statues is approved by Allah. Not in the Bible. The Bible says, make no image from what up in heaven or down on earth. Never. But people, they do. But I understand, you know, I mean, they are not because they are bad people. They love the Messiah. They love Mary. They love, uh, because they have a good heart, but this is not the right way to do it. This is not what the Bible teach. Didn't Ark of the Covenant also had statues? Statues of angels. This is what they base. This is what they base. But those are not really statues. You know, this is not a statue. This is like decorative. Uh, uh, it's not for the purpose of worship. The statues, the paganism statues we are talking about. If you make a statues for the purpose of worship, if you do that, you are a pagan. There's no question about it. Catholic don't worship Mary. They ask Mary to pray for them. I ask all the Christians to pray for me. Christian, they ask each other to pray for each other. 
That is a tradition, and this is a, the Bible teaching that you ask your brother to pray for you. So they ask Mary to pray for them. That's all. They are not asking Mary to forgive their sin. If anyone asks Mary to forgive his sin, he's not a Christian. But nobody do that. Mary, she is a very unique person, for sure chosen by God. For she is very special. And there is a story in the Bible where Mary, she asked the Messiah to do a miracle. The Messiah said to her, not my time yet, even though he said that to her, still he did what she asked for. So many they believed because Mary, the Messiah, did not reject what she asked for. So they say, let us ask Mary to ask the Messiah. Because he loved her very much. But not because she is God. Nobody, no Christian worship Mary. The Trinity is God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Mary is not part of it. Okay, I'm going to read the Bible. All right. I'm not going to say to you, you should accept Christianity now, but if I am you, if you feel in your heart that the Lord, the Messiah, is the one who deserves to be followed, so you should follow him right now, immediately. First, I would like to, you know, research about Christianity and read right, the Bible. All right. Well, then... Yeah. That's that's good. We don't want you to become a Christian being, oh, you know, being ignorant. I will just stay an atheist. Agnostic. <laughs> yeah, well. Christianity makes sense, then, yeah, I will convert. All right, my friend. Thank you very much for joining, and we are happy for you that you decide to leave Islam, and you can join me anytime to give me the good news that you decide to accept the Messiah. So we will pray for you. 